There are a few places in your life as a cook you walk into and you fall in love with them. This is one of those places. I'm in Small Fry in Hobart with a good mate and chef, Reese Hannon. You're gonna show us a dish that's on the menu here for breakfast that people absolutely love. What is it? Today, Ben, we're gonna do some uh, vanilla bean porridge with mulled wine pears and some lemon curd. Let's get into it. Just to be, just to be fair, I have actually had breakfast, so cool. I'm happy no. that we're having breakfast Yeah, here. well, you're, you're hopefully in for a, for a delicious treat this morning. So, so how much butter did we put in there? That's about a tablespoon of butter. And yep. we're going with a cup of milk and half a cup of rolled oats. You can think whenever you're portioning for oats, double milk. Yep, to your rolled soak oats. it up. They'll soak it up and get shiny. And we like to use whole rolled oats here at Small Fry. Um, we find quick oats or if we find we soak oats, they break down, they go mushy. They don't give you the texture that you really want out yep. of a nice, uh, rolled oat porridge. I think a lot of people, if they've had a porridge or they've had rolled oats and they haven't liked it, it's normally because of that. They've had quick oats, it turns to mush. Mush, yeah. and it's uh, not much fun at all. So we'll just get those on the stove there to start warming through. That'll take seven or eight minutes on the stove. Yep. And this place, the reason I love this place is you're on show all the time, aren't you? All the time. <laughs> I had to, um, had to learn to cook and talk at the same time. Pretty, Is it stressful? Pretty quickly. Uh, it was to begin with, but we've taken the menu back to a point now where um, I'm able to do what I'm doing reasonably quickly and I've got a lot more of experience yeah. now, so I can... Um, I can, um, I'm well versed in it these yeah. days, Ben, I suppose is what I'm trying to say. So you guys have only been open for a little while, what's coming up for your yeah. first? Yeah, approaching our first birthday, um, so that's really exciting and um, we feel like we've been really, really well received by Hobart, we're really lucky here. Very good, so what have we got here? Um, these are our pears poached in mulled wine, so we make a mulled wine mix with the traditional mix of spices, cinnamon, clove, a little bit of star anise, a little bit of nutmeg and plenty of orange juice and orange zest. And we like to use Pinot Noir, Tasmanian Pinot Noir for our mulled wine here, rather than just sort of acid. Yeah, so mulled wine is, is wine with lots of spices and extra... Yeah, yeah it's a, a very it's European, to... very winter drink for Europe. So it's warmed wine with um, spices and some brown sugar, yep. basically. Yeah. And you just poach your pears till they're nice and soft. Indeed, so about an hour for a half pear in the mulled wine mix. And then what we actually do after that is take that syrup and make our mulled wine with it again and serve that as mulled wine. So we've Keep got this going. pear and Pinot Noir nice. and we use it as a master stock throughout the year, throughout the winter. So at this point we're waiting for our oats to be cooked, so a few more minutes on those. Here we're starting to get some of the starch released from the oats and they're starting to take on a bit of a shine. And you can see the milk starting to foam and reduce a little bit as well. Beautiful. So we're almost there. So this stage we'll put a bit of vanilla in while the porridge is nice and hot, releases all those aromas. The oats have come off our target grill, they're sitting on your board. You've got a lid on them, why are you resting them? Uh, in the same way we rest most starches that we cook in liquid like this, like rice or barley, it just lets them relax and lets them take up that last little bit of moisture without us boiling the hell out of them. And your pears, you've cut in all different shapes? Yeah, try and keep it a bit interesting with the presentation. There's sort of nothing worse than a static four slices of pear sitting on a plate. Looks not contemporary. Very nice. So here comes the hard part, time to plate up. Indeed, let's go. Mate, that looks absolutely divine. Yeah, so thanks. Um, at the restaurant, we would... Um... He, he takes compliments really well, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so at the restaurant, we would just simply serve this with a little bit of chai foam. That sort of rounds out the flavours and it also um, provides a bit of liquid so the porridge doesn't get stodgy as our guests are eating it. Yeah. If you're ever in Hobart, coming to Small Fry, the breakfast looks pretty good, doesn't it?